Hi. Ashton's mum, Kate, knew she wanted to send him to the local Catholic school from the time he was born. Are you ready? But as a single mum, saving for school fees has meant a lot of extra shifts in her retail job. I grew up in like a divorced family, public housing, public school, so I made sure that I worked really hard and set a standard for him to be able to afford to send him somewhere better. Kate never questioned whether the fees were too high. Now leaked documents seen by the ABC suggest Catholic school authorities are shifting more than $300 million in government funding from poorer to richer dioceses. The scheme gives wealthy primary schools up to three times the funding they're entitled to under the Education Act to keep fees down and enrolments up, while parents at lower income schools make up the shortfall. In Kate's case, this means that instead of the roughly $1,200 it should cost to send Ashton here, she's paying $3,400, nearly triple. I slightly feel a bit ripped off now. Um, like it's been a struggle for me to make sure we're consistently getting his school fees paid. And if it wasn't necessary for me to pay as much as I am, that money could have gone elsewhere. Adrian Pickley was the New South Wales Education Minister for six years. He says the documents confirm what's been suspected for a long time and that taking money away from poorer schools is wrong. They can't provide as many services, teaching services, uh, things like speech pathology, all of those other things that low SES schools need. They've not been able to do that to the same extent. Catholic Schools New South Wales says the amount diverted from poorer schools is closer to $200 million. And this represents a tiny fraction of their total funding. What we're talking about is about half of 1% redistribution from a pool almost $3 billion. The aim is to make the low fee offering as ubiquitous as we possibly can right across New South Wales. They do have the right to allocate their funding. They've stretched that so far, it makes a mockery of the freedom they have under the law. Primary school enrolment is a high stakes quest for the Catholic Church, especially in cities where parents have more choice. Raising fees could drive families away, and that could significantly impact the church's influence and its bottom line. Inga Ting, ABC News.